So one of the most challenging aspects of this surgery is the recovery. The recovery is relatively extensive and challenging to do for some clients and some patients, honestly. So we break it up into three essential periods. So the first two week period is incision healing. The first eight weeks of post-operative is bone healing. And then weeks eight to 12 or 14, that's the period of rehabilitation. So during the first two weeks, once we get our patient home from surgery, we are gonna be on medication. We'll probably be on pain medications as well as potentially anti-inflammatory medications. Some patients are sent home with antibiotics to prevent or help to avoid infections. Um, and then occasionally we will send a dog home with a sedative just to help with that recovery. The first two weeks is, a, is bed rest. So you're gonna be, they're going to be wearing the terrible cone of shame and they're gonna to have to stay in a single room in the house with no running, jumping, or playing. When they go outside, they'll be on leash at all times, and really it'll be just outside to go potty, come back in two to three times a day. At the two week mark, we do recommend a recheck so that we can uh, assess the incision, make sure everything is healed. Assuming it has healed, then the terrible cone of shame goes away, which is awesome. Um, and we can resume normal bathing at that point as long as the incision is healed. Unfortunately, we are still on single room confinement in the house with no running, jumping, or playing, and we are still limited to only on-leash activity when we go outside. That continues throughout the entire eight-week period. But from weeks two to four, we are able to go on 10-minute leash walks two to three times a day, weeks four to six, 15-minute leash walks, and weeks six to eight, 20-minute leash walks. We're using that as our rehabilitation for these pets to kind of keep their uh, muscles from atrophying too much and keep good range of motion of that knee without too much scar tissue. At the eight week mark, we come back in to the clinic and we're gonna take x-rays at that time point. Once we take x-rays, we're going to confirm that the bone is healing appropriately or has healed completely. And assuming that we are healing appropriately, then we're gonna continue on into our second or third phase of healing, which is that rehabilitation phase. At this point, we're free to move about the house, no further limitations within the home. But right now, essentially what we've done is we've taken a professional athlete that every dog is. They do things you and I can never dream of. They jump three times their height. They run from a laying position. And now we've made that professional athlete a couch potato for eight weeks. And we essentially forgot to tell them that. So if we turn them loose at the park or at the beach at that point, they're gonna go bolting across the, the yard and they're gonna stretch something, pull something, injure something else. Typically this won't be associated with the actual surgical site because that surgical site has been confirmed to heal, but something else that's unconditioned is gonna be damaged. So during that next four to six weeks, we're gonna go on progressive on-leash activity, longer and longer, um, con uh, kind of, unlimited on leash, whatever we can handle. And then we'll follow that up by two to four weeks of controlled off leash activity where we're in a yard or some sort of area where we're not bolting, roughhousing with other dogs, those types of things. Assuming that at the end of that 12 to 14 weeks, we are still continuing to do well, then we can go back to normal activity at that point. And that kind of completes our recovery from surgery.